Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the end of April, okay, from now until the end of April. What do we have for Aries? <laughs> oh, well, you know, that's you. You can't deny it. You can try all you want, but I mean, come on now. A stubborn, aggressive person, a ram. That's you. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, trying to poke anybody or anything, but this card came out for a reason and you are the ram. So maybe you're being stubborn and aggressive. I mean, maybe, I mean, I can't make it up. Oh, we got another one. Bird perched, waiting for news, package, or letter. Maybe you need to do something. If you're waiting, this is waiting for it. Right now, it's just, a, it's a waiting period. Right now you're in a waiting period. Maybe, you know, you're, you're being very stubborn. You're not doing anything. You're waiting for somebody to come to you. Hmm. Tulip, great passion. That's you as well, huh? I mean, it is. I think you're waiting for news that could you know bring you some passion i mean by the looks of things hmm. waiting for news you're waiting for it you're waiting for it right being very stubborn ha oh fun fun unrequited love situation Woo-wee! well that is no fun there is definitely an unrequited love situation here capricorn may have something to do with a capricorn there's work that is needed there's hard work ahead you may be dealing with somebody that has capricorn in their chart Fire, there's your great passion. Spark, sudden desire. A match. Change in living situation. This is action card. This is about going after your passions. Capricorn's a sign of work. Okay, it is. Capricorn's, you know, earth sign, which is all about work, 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 work. And I... You know, doing the work and facing the challenges and climbing that mountain, you know. You may have to do some work to get out of an unrequited love situation. There's, there could be a new partner here, a new attraction, something very exciting, you know. But it has to do with a change in living situation. There could be a sudden change in a living situation. Somebody may be leaving an unrequited love situation. And it's all about passion, right? If you have a life void of passion, that is absolutely no life. Bad timing. So the timing was off. The timing was off. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have for Aries? Oh, we got three. There's no passion in this unrequited love situation. And then we have Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands reverse. Now this is wasting time. Three of Wands reverse is wasting time. You know, there's a need to go, there's a need to have faith, there's a need to step forward. This is lack of foresight, not seeing something. You're wasting your time on something. You definitely need to take action. Look at this, right? right. You need to be brave. You need to be strong. 
You really need to be strong. This does have to do with passion. It has to do with desires. You have to do the work. You have to do the work. It's like you're waiting for somebody else to do the work. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. You have to do the work. Ace of Wands reversed. No passion. No desire. No... Maybe there's no sex. I don't know. There's no growth in this unrequited love situation. There ain't no growth. It's, and it's blocking your blessings. You need to get creative, okay? You need, to, you need to find a way. You need to find your discipline. You need to take action right now. You do. You need to find your confidence within yourself, okay? It's time for growth. It's, it's time for you to be in a situation that is more oh, positive, but this is lack of foresight, not seeing something, missing an opportunity. Missing an opportunity for passion. Stuck in the past, stuck on something when you need to move forward. This is missing an opportunity, wasting time, missing an opportunity for a perfect match. We're missing an opportunity for passion. There's an unrequited love situation here. There's no passion. There's and whatever I don't know what you call passion, but there's no attraction or desire or growth or it's bringing you down. It's holding you down. This is like not excited, being weighed down. There's no attraction here. There's no. It's a one-sided situation. You need to take action. You need to focus on the future. You need to focus on the future. There is an opportunity here for passion, for growth, to, you know, to have your, your fire lit or whatever. But this is wasting time not seeing and really focusing on something that is holding you back. Mm. has to do with a Capricorn or another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or just an unrequited love situation where there's no nothing. Nothing. It's blocking your opportunities. Change in living situation. Ten of Pentacles right underneath it. That is very significant. This is definitely a living situation, a long-term commitment. There definitely could be a change in your living situation. A family situation, a change in your stability. There's an opportunity here to have it all. You probably don't see it. To have that comfortable life, to have that happy relationship and that abundance. You're not seeing it. This is lack of vision. This is lack of vision as well. This is you. And, and then we have the stubborn, aggressive person. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang on to what I got, right? Go for it. It will block your blessings. It will block your stability. It will block your abundance. Hang on to it for the rest of your life if that's what you want. That's, it's your choice. Missing an opportunity for long-term stability. Missing an opportunity to have it all. Seriously. Two of Pentacles reversed, not being flexible. There's a need to be flexible. There's a need to let something go. You may have overcommitted yourself to something. There's some sort of juggling here, going back and forth, but this is a fall. This is a loss, okay? This is like a trip of some sort, some sort of trip and fall or a fallout or under a lot of pressure. Too many balls in the air. Too much going on. A need to let go. A need for balance. I think you've been going back and forth with a decision. There's obviously an opportunity here for a passion that you're ignoring or you're missing. You're, you're not or ignoring, missing an opportunity for passion. Maybe for this could be a new sexual partner, whatever it is. It's a new, it's something exciting, okay? You're missing an opportunity to have it all, a happy relationship and money, the ultimate abundance to live a comfortable life. 
You need, this is an action card. You need to take action. This has to do with your living situation. But this is like going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth, playing games, juggling is a game. It is. Okay. I think right now you're lacking balance. You're lacking organization. You may be making a poor decision. And, I, and I, you know, it is, it's up to you. There could be some financial issues here. You may have a lot going on. You may even have a financial loss of some sort. You need to get moving. You need to take action right now. I don't think, I think that if you want to hold on to stability or if you want abundance, you need to let something go to have it. You have to. This could be some sort of mess. Mm, what do we have for Aries? A need to take action, a need to do the work, a need to face the challenges to have growth in your life. You're wasting time. You have a new opportunity here. You absolutely do. But you have to focus, okay? And you may have to change your situation. You have to take action to change your situation. You have to let something go that you've been playing with, that you've been going back and forth with, right? You may, things may be all over the place right now. You may feel like things are out of your control. I think you've been able to control it, but I don't think things are in control right now. I don't. You may be feeling overwhelmed. You may be overextending yourself. You need to let something go to have balance, to have stability. It has to do with this living situation and an unrequited love situation. It's like you're waiting for news or you're, you're waiting for something. But there's delays. It's not coming. This is, this is delays. Delayed abundance. Delayed passion. Delayed growth. You're still focusing on something from the past. You're still this is like hung up. It's like not going anywhere. It's stuck. You may have gotten yourself into something, you know, where there was a failure to achieve because it feels like there's a failure to achieve success in some way. That's what the 3 of wands reversed is. It's like a failure to achieve success feeling. And that is success. Because you need to take action. Being stubborn ain't going to get you nowhere. You're going to have a loss. That's what's going to happen. Okay, here's a loss. Being stubborn is going to cause a loss. That is a loss. That's for damn sure. That's something nice. The Five of Pentacles is a, is, is a loss. It's financial loss. It's financial burdens. It's an unhealthy situation by the looks of things. Dead end. Something has gone cold. Left out in the cold. This is cold, 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 cold weather. It's cold. On thin ice. It's almost like drowning. Maybe some financial debt or something is happening. There's a need to do some work. There's a need to get to work. There's a need to take action. You, I feel like you need to plant some seeds someplace else. You know, where the where the there's more fertility. There's like you're 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 investing in something that is not in a good place. It's not a good place. It's it's dark, it's cold, it's, it may even be dangerous. really struggling. Some of you may be facing financial struggles or you're struggling in a situation where it's like drowning or close to it. There's a need to take action. There's a need maybe to even ask for help or go someplace else, you know, where there's more sun, more light. Hey man, some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. Hanging on to a belief, self-sacrifice, sacrificing yourself for something. This is hanging on to something very stubborn, extremely stubborn. It's like a sacrificial lamb here of some sort. That's what I just heard. 
even though that's a goat. Anyhow, um, the hangman. This is a self-sacrifice. There's a, there's a belief hanging on, trying to prove something. Somebody's trying to prove something. Wasting time. Wasting time. Missing an opportunity. This is missing an opportunity as well. There's some sort of manipulation here. The hangman is a master manipulator. Master. Very cunning. There's an opportunity here. There's a golden opportunity for passion, for stability, for security. You need to be open-minded. You need to look at things from a new perspective. Maybe you're starting to. It feels like there's somebody that wants to leave or they want to go home or something like that. But there's a need to take action. They need to take action. There is going to be a change in living situation. We have somebody here that is extremely stubborn, is trying to prove something, is unwilling to change. You know, and you must let go. You must let go. There's something you need to let go of. I don't know if you're hanging on to something for stability reasons, for the money, or the home, or the roof. There's going to be a change. I think you're really thinking a lot. You may be with somebody else that is thinking a lot. We definitely have somebody here that's thinking. Okay, they're thinking about the money. They're thinking about their stability. There's some sort of uh, burdens here, probably financial burdens or financial instability. Somebody's been wasting a lot of time. They didn't see something. They may be gaining a new perspective. They have a sudden desire for change and something more solid, stable, and secure. There could be an, you know, somebody that is letting something go to have something more comfortable there's definitely been some delays and a lot of neglect abandonment being left out in the cold feeling cold feeling alone but now it's like there's a new spark there's a new drive there's there's a desire for to have it all. I think that you do have a desire to have it all. I feel like there's going to be a drop. This is dropping something to have balance. Looks like we're going to have a tower moment there, Aries. This is a sudden change. It's, it's a major disruption that changes your life. This is universal force. So this is a universe forcing something. This is a major event. It's a faded event that uh, changes your <laughs> foundation. So this could be an instant revelation where you just realize something, you just wake up. This could be an event that comes from the universe, like a, uh, you know, whatever it is, you know, a universal event such as hurricane, storm, um, uproar, you know, something happens out of the blue that you never saw coming and it changes your whole foundation. It changes your whole situation. You're forced to move on. You're forced to go someplace else. This could, could even be a fight. This is like, see, the top is blown off. This could be a blow up. It could be some sort of explosion. Okay, this could even have something to do with a head, you know what I mean? Or it just could be, you know, a realization, an instant revelation, an instant realization. Whatever it is, it's a sudden change that changes everything. You are forced, okay? This is where the light is shed on a situation. And you're forced to make some sort of change. And you can't stay here anymore because it's over, it's done. You can't stay here anymore. Okay, it crumbles, you are forced to... Go in a different direction. This is universal force. Oh, God. This is a quick exit. This is a shock. This is like a tower moment as well. This is a quick, quick, quick exit. Leaving very, very quickly. It's out of control. Get out of my way. Out of here. See ya. Now, I said this was you, right? Because, I mean, it looks like you, right? This is very similar. It could be a Pisces. You could also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here as well. This is very aggressive energy. It's an aggressive departure. 
Uh, we have somebody here that is untrustworthy, okay? They're very combative. This could be a huge fight, a huge battle. Uh, this is somebody that is very mean and untrustworthy. Um, somebody is probably leaving a situation very, very quickly. This could even be some sort of, I, I gotta say, an attack. And this is like, the hangman sometimes tries to punish people. That's why I said it's a master manipulator. Sometimes this person is very, they're so stubborn, they're so aggressive, they will not change. They got a point to prove, and it has to do with punishing. We have somebody here that has been neglected. There's been neglect, there's been abandonment, there's issues, there's financial issues. This is not good. Okay, it's a very unhealthy situation. They've been hanging on to the unhealthy situation. There's going to be a quick departure, a quick exit. Um, there's going to be a change in the living situation. There's going to be an uproar. I believe there's going to be an uproar. With the Knight of Swords reversed, the Two of uh, Pentacles reversed, and the Tower. Okay. Somebody's leaving an unrequited love situation. It's going to happen suddenly. It's going to come out of nowhere. Could definitely be a fight. There could definitely be a huge fight. Somebody's trying to prove something. And it gets out of control. That's what I got. Good luck.